Well, this month we recognize domestic violence awareness, but for some raising awareness is an everyday fight. Ashley Listra met with one family who hosts an annual domestic violence rally in honor of their loved one. Had we known was it something we could do, we would have done different. Yeah. We would have done different. We would have done different. But I can't bring Ebony's back. Gwendolyn Reed says the pain of her younger sister's death still hurts her today. I suspected it, but in our community, domestic violence is taboo. Even though her sister, Ebony Span Parsons, was killed 10 years ago, Reed recalls the tragedy vividly. And he walked into the bingo and he killed, he shot Ebony in her head and he killed himself off of her. After her sister's death, Reed started Ebony's Hope, a domestic violence outreach program. Our mission of Ebony's Hope is that not another man, woman, or child should perish in the 15th district without knowing their resources. Today, Ebony's Hope held their 10th annual domestic violence rally at the old Conway Courthouse. Reed says she wants to stand up for domestic violence victims like her sister always stood up for her. So when she was killed, it was like, she always stood up for you. Who was stand up for her? If you or someone you know needs help, contact the Domestic Violence Hotline at 800-799-7233 or text START to 88788. We won't be defeated, even with the loss of such a beautiful life. Even with the memories that we have, she won't be defeated. We'll rise up against this. In Conway, Ashley Listrom, WMBF News.